Okay, I'm going to do a quick video on uh, domain of radical functions. Um, what ends up de determining the domain, um, what, you know, where it's defined, where the function exists, pretty much, um, is going to depend on x values that will um, keep the radican from being negative. Okay, so if I said, you know, what is the square root of negative four? You would say, well, there are no real numbers, um, you know, that, that can give me that uh, negative four, and you know, you'd be right. Okay, so um, when sticking, when, when talking about domain, we want to stick to the real number system. Okay, so if I have a variable plugged in here, um, that variable's job is basically going to be to ensure that this radicand, uh, which is you know whatever's inside the radical, is greater than. Um, zero okay so let's just start with a simple one okay okay so I got I got f of x and that's going to be equal to 2x minus 1 so you know what we just talked about is that 2x minus 1 has to be greater than 0 okay so all we'll do is we'll just sit, we'll just go ahead and, and, and claim that that's um, true and we'll go ahead and solve for x and see if we can't uh, produce a, a set of x values that'll uh, keep this that'll make this legit so we're just gonna uh, add one to both sides okay okay then it uh, looks like I'm gonna have to divide by 2 on both sides so then I get x being greater than or equal to 1 half right okay so let's see here, x has to be greater than or equal to 1 half. So let's put 1 in here, okay? 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1, all right? And if we take the square root of that, everything's fine, right? It's, it's just 1. Now let's go less than that. Let's go, let, let's, uh, let's just say x is equal to 0. So I go 2 times 0, minus 1, and that is going to be uh, 0, and then I'm going to end up with a negative one right there. Well, that's um, it, that's actually a, a number, but it's but it's a, not a real number. Okay, so you you see what happened there? Okay, everything got a, a little messed up when we went uh, when we disobeyed our domain. So I'm going to write this here again. And the notation for this is quite simple. Okay, you um, there, this is probably the most common way to do it. Um, but but x has to be greater than one half. So you know, as far as math is concerned, x can be um, one, two, fifty-seven billion. Um, so we, what we go ahead and do is we just say that the domain is one half all the way to positive infinity. Now you got these uh, kind of like hard brackets over here. That means I include one half in the domain. A soft bracket would mean that I do not include um, infinity in the, in the domain and you do not ever include fin infinity into the domain okay it's not a real number either I can't give you infinity calculators I can't give you infinity t-bone stakes okay it just you know it just doesn't work so that's a good way to think about it now graphically let's think about this let's think about this let me just draw here's the regular square root function okay you know, square root of x. But what's this one gonna look like? This one's gonna be a little different, okay? This one, let's say, take this over here. See, this one's a little different because, you know, we had one half, okay, so I, we plug, so let's plug one half into our function. F of one half is two times one half minus one. Okay, well that's just boom. That just equals zero, doesn't it? So it looks like our starting point is zero. Okay. I don't think that's a very good pen for doing this. So now, um, if, if we plug a really big number in here, let's say let's say we plug in one hundred. Okay. Um, it looks like we end up with the square root of two times one hundred minus one. We end up with square root of ninety nine. Okay, and that's going to be a bigger number. It's going to be somewhere up here. So so we can see that you know everything's uh, pretty much okay. So here's zero, and here's you know this gave us zero when we plugged one half into it. Okay, so let's just kind of make it some tick marks. Here's um, 
here's one so here's gonna be one half okay and we'll go on there so let's just go ahead and since the domain is from one half to infinity there is our new function right there that that's pretty much where it starts okay um, and, and it makes sense too. see I plugged in one half into my function I ended up with zero okay well that makes sense you know we, we, we plugged it in right there and we got zero as well so got that right there okay um, next let's do another one let's do another one well, it never hurts to do uh, several examples um, let's change you'll see one that looks like this too so okay 3 minus 2x well that's kind of weird you know the x is over here we're subtracting x from it now so let's just do the same thing we'll set it equal to 0 or greater than or equal to 0 um, I'm gonna have to subtract 3 from both sides so negative 2x is greater than negative 3 I don't like these negatives, so I'm going to divide the negative 2's out. And remember, when we divide by negatives, we have to flip the sign around. So, and then uh, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Okay? So it looks like our domain is going to be x has to be less than or equal to 3 halves. Okay? So let's go ahead and here's how we'll write that. We'll just start over here on this end. And then we'll go to negative infinity because x has to be less than this, okay? So let me go ahead and, oop, let me see here. Actually, let's, um, here, here's our, here's our coordinate plane. Okay, and let's go I'm just uh, you know plugging it in, and that's actually f of three halves. So this is twos are going to cancel. Three minus three is zero. Okay, so it looks like if we plug three halves in here, that's like one and a half. Let's just say these are in half inch. Here's a three halves right there. So it looks like our function is going to start at zero, right, or, or at, at three halves. Okay, three halves gives us zero, so now the function is worth nothing right here. Um, let's go ahead and let's go evaluate this thing at f of zero. Okay, well, three minus two x, if, if x is zero, then you just end up with square root of three, and that's uh, about 1.73. So let's just, uh, here's one half, one, 1.5. So here, we'll go ahead and say that looks pretty good right there. Okay. Um, and notice how it's going backwards. It's not defined for any big positive numbers, so it just kind of shoots out that way. Okay, and that, that's where uh, the domain of that function is. So that is uh, pretty much uh, radical function domains in a nutshell. Uh, let me know if uh, you have any more questions.